Now, in the wake of increasing cases of fraudulent activities in the banking sector, it has become imperative that customers become more sensitive of their surroundings and any form of notifications received when transacting any business. In the following reports, my colleague Della Michelle tells us some banking safety tips to keep you and I from becoming a victim to these scams. Whether it is bill payments, fund transfers, or even creating an account, the internet allows one to bank from the comfort of their space in a fast, unconvenient way. Instead of dealing with unending queues, internet banking has made all services accessible through a few clicks. But the 2021 Banking, SDI and EMI fraud report from the Bank of Ghana is revealing that staff involvement in reported fraud cases for the period under review was 53.46%. 22.99 million CDs was lost to ATM or POS fraud. E-money fraud recorded a loss of 3.2 million CDs in 2021, whilst forgery and manipulation of documents accounted for 12.43%, approximately 7 million Ghana CDs. This reflects the reality uh, on the ground. Not quite accurately because the reality on the ground might be worse than this in the sense that the reporting of incidents is still an issue. Um, there are, even though uh, organizations, especially financial institutions and the Bank of Ghana's uh, the guidance, as opposed to our mandated report incidents, you find that a lot of them sit on the issues because of the potential you know, effect of some of these things. But what safety tips can customers apply when it comes to online banking? Here are a few. The number one safety tip is to change passwords periodically. Check your account activity regularly as this helps to verify whether the right amount has been deducted. Don't click links embedded in emails. Avoid logging into your bank account at common computers in crowded areas. Finally, do not give out account info over the phone as your bank will never ask for your confidential information via phone or email. Joseph Kwe is lead cyber security officer at the e-crime bureau and also had this to share. The truth is, sometimes these criminals don't even have to suffer to get to get access to our pins. You find that most people, especially of a particular demographic, are using pins that are probably synonymous to their year of birth. So if the person was born in 1971, probably the chances that they're using a pin that is around these tickets that are mixed in a particular combination. You have a debit card, you had it in your wallet, you you dropped it somewhere. If we don't attach enough importance to it because we think that oh after all the person goes to the ATM, right? They can they can they don't know my pin. But we forget that our debit cards, at least for the most banking institutions now, have linked it to the Visa platform. So when someone can even read the code or the numbers on your card and then the CBB code behind it. They can shop online on your, on, your, on your behalf. Key recommendations given by the Bank of Ghana is to make sure that all institutions comply with the security and cyber directive, as well as produce fraud alert reports on a monthly basis as and when it occurs. They've also asked e-money issuers to collaborate with the bank to make sure that extensive education is given to the vulnerable to quell issues that has to do with e-money fraud. For you as a customer out there, it is time for you to be more vigilant. Report any case that you think is unfamiliar, especially when it comes to your account, the details that are being requested from you, and many others. Reporting for TV3 News, my name is Della Michelle.